G'day everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Now today we're here serving up some more snacks for our fishy friends. However, today we're talking freshwater fishing and I'm going to show you my four favorite baits. So let's jump straight into it and here they are. So here they are, let's zoom in and I'll show you what we're talking about today. So first we have our yabbies, then we have our mud eye, Next, we have our worms. And last of all, we have our power bait. So we have our yabbies, our mud eye, our worms, and our power bait. So let me show you how to rig them up. All right, so the first bait that we're gonna talk about today is our worms. Now, they're probably the most versatile bait out there for all of our freshwater species, like Murray cod, golden perch, silver perch, trout, redfin, carp, and nearly everything in between. They're a fantastic bait, easy to rig up. So let me show you how to rig them up. So on to rigging up our worm. I like to use it on a running sinker rig, just like so. Now, depending on what size worm you're using, it depends on the size hook that you should be using. But around here, I like something around that size six. Now we've got reasonable size worms here today. So it's pretty simple. We're just gonna rig up one worm. Now, the way that I like to rig these up, um, and some people do it differently, but I like to rig it up by putting it roughly through the center. Now, not through the saddle just here, so that's that nice uh, wider slot piece of the worm, but I like to put it through the back side of it. So I like to rig it through once, twice, and even a third time. And I like to move that worm up the hook and now having the worm wriggle around just like so is a really enticing bait for our fishes. It's really, really simple. And that's how we rig up a worm. So the next bait that I wanna talk about is our power bait. It's a fantastic bait for trout and it represents trout eggs or the pellets that they were used to be fed in captivity. So when our stock trout get uh, released into our lakes or our rivers, they're a fantastic bait to use and they actually catch a stack of fish so I'll show you how to rig them up. When it comes to rigging up our power bait, it's pretty simple. It's a very small pallet and we'd like to put it on a very small hook. Now the reason is using a small hook with a very fine wire means that our bait will float once we rig it up correctly. And the easy, very, very simple way to rig these up nice and correctly is to get our, to get our power bait and we get our hook and we just thread it on just like that. Now we're using the same running sinker rig that we use for our worm. It's very simple and that's it. Like I said, it's very simple, but done right, it's extremely effective. And as long as we're using a fine gauge hook, that means our bait will float slightly off the bottom and we're gonna stand a chance of catching a lot more fish. There you have it, that's our power bait. The next bait I'd like to show you is our mud eye. Now they're a fantastic bait for our trout and our redfin, especially in our lake systems and around weed beds. They're very easy to rig, so I'll get into it right now. Now, when it comes to rigging up our mud eye, it's very simple. I like a very nice float rig. So we have our float all the way down to our very small hook. Now it's integral to use a really small hook because our mud eye aren't very big. So a very small hook like this, size eight, and you can go smaller again as well, depending on how big your mud eye is. So this is how to rig it, our mud eye. You'll notice it has a small set of wings just back here. So there are its wings. Because it's dragonfly larvae, and that's where we want to rig our hook. So this is what it looks like. So we get a really small hook, and very, very, very simply, is we just lightly pin it just above those wings. Now the reason we pin it so lightly is because we want that bait to stay alive. Again, much like the yabby and the worms, these are very enticing baits to our trout and our redfin, but it has to be alive and look as natural as possible. Anyway, like I said, we have to keep it very simple and that's very simple. So that is our perfectly rigged mud eye. Okay, so we've run through a few baits now. The last bait that I'd like to show you is the Yabby, of course. They're a great bait for all of our native species like Murray Cod, Golden Perch, Australian Bass, they even catch redfin and trout. The cool thing about them as well is they're really fun to catch, especially with the kids. Um, and if you don't, if you don't use them for bait, they make a great feed too. So I'll show you how to rig up our yabbies. 
So when it comes to rigging up our Yabby, I like a very simple rig. Now this is a very simplified running sinker rig where our sinker runs all the way down to our hook. And here I have a nice little circle hook because our Australian native fish tend to swallow the hook down and we want to minimize the chance of the gut hooking it. So let me show you how to rig up this Yabby. So when it comes to rigging up our Yabby, it's pretty simple. Now it seems a little bit daunting because these guys have a little claws, but it's very simple to do. And the good thing about rigging up our yabbies like this is if we don't catch a fish and we do want to release our yabby, it just means it has the best chance of surviving, which is ultimately what we're trying to achieve. So the best way to rig up our yabby is to get our hook and we put it through the back of our, of our yabby. We don't put it through the body of our yabby because that's where all of its internal organs are and we want our bait to be alive so it can entice those fish and look really natural. But if we put it through the center of, of our yabby's tail, uh, that's where the, it has more internal organs and it's not just flesh. Um, so that can, that'll cause a lot of damage as well. So we like to offset it just off the side. So we get our hook and we come through the bottom of our yabby. We want it to come just through the side of our yabby, just like so. They can be pretty easy to pin. And that's it. It's rigged really nice and simply. And that means that yabby will crawl around and walk around and entice those fish into biting. It's a little bit daunting, but don't worry. And like I said, if this bait doesn't get eaten, all we have to do is simply remove that hook and we can release our yabby knowing that it's probably going to survive. And there you have it. That's how you rig my four favorite baits for our freshwater fishing here in Victoria. It's fairly simple, but done right, it's gonna catch you 99% of our freshwater species here in Victoria. Now, if you're interested in the knots and the rigs that I use in today's demonstration, head over to our website at www.fishcare.org.au or check out our app, Get Hooked on Fishing by Fishcare Victoria, which you can download from your app stores on your phones or your iPads. Uh, it's got all of our content on there as well. So that's it for now. And until then, we'll catch you next time.